Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned grudge match comparison? As people, we've always been drawn into comparisons between two items. Which version is better rages on today with a very basic and quick personal breakdown between 3M's Peltor Sport Tactical 300s and Walker's XL 100s. Let's take a quick look. This one has better earmuffs, better seal. This one has not as good earmuffs, better band, better feel on top of the head. This one has a tighter feel across the top of the head, which creates a better seal ac across the ears. This one is worlds more comfortable in everyday use in any situation. This one is rated for 24 decibels of noise reduction. This one is rated for 26 decibels of noise reduction. Even though this one is rated for less, this one does a better job of suppressing noise at an indoor range than this one. The Excels have a bit of a hissing sound and a lot of ambient noise that seep into the speaker system. This one has none of that. This boost on this system works fantastically. You will hear everything from everywhere. No voice will be drowned out by gunshot. This one, the reduction system, the electronic reduction system, drowns out voices as gunshots are going off. This one feels more rugged, more apt for everyday use, feels better constructed. This one feels a little not so well constructed. Things can pop off. I don't feel like I could throw this one around nearly as well as I could throw this one around. The Walker XL 100s retail for about $79 to $99. The Pelotor Tactical Sport 300s retail for about $100 to $120. Roughly a $20 difference between the two. Though better than their cheaper models, picking up direction of sound and voices, not near as good on the Excels as they are on the Pelotor Tactical Sport 300s. These, you can tell where voices are as if you're not even wearing them. This one does a good job, but not a fantastic job of multi-directional sound. This one is more comfortable for cheek welding as it's tapered at the bottom. The Peltors don't feel nearly as comfortable because of their wider bottom base with cheek welding on rifles. The Walkers are better apt for indoor settings where you need to hear people converse as gunshots are going off. The Peltors are better at suppressing all loud noise. Both fold up nicely and fit compact inside your backpack or your case. Both have a premium fit and finish. The walkers look better overall. Long days on the range meant the walkers were comfortable in all situations. Long days on the range meant the Peltors with their stiff, rigid rubber band here were not as comfortable. They started to wear on you. Both of these are fantastic for what they are. Both of them are about the same price point. The Peltors I probably wear a little more because of their ability to suppress sound, their better ear cups, the better snugger feel across my head. The Walkers I wear more in an outdoor setting because of their overall comfort especially on long, hot days. If I had to choose one and only one, that's a tough call. It'd probably be the Peltors because I've been shooting a lot more indoors lately. Overall, their suppression, their voice clarity, the ability to pick up sound in any direction as compared to the XLs is just far superior. When I'm outdoors, I wear the XLs because their comfort is far superior to the Peltors. 
and they do a good job of sound suppression. We'll finish this comparison off with a couple of shots of how these two headsets perform for people with big heads like myself. As you see, they both fit. They both fit fairly comfortable with the walkers performing much better than the Peltors. In the end, you can't go wrong with either one. In this battle of mid-tier headphones from Peltor and walkers, I think they both are superb choices and you'll be happy either way. As always, thank you for watching my channel. You only have one life, live it to the fullest.